Say the cure kills me. What then? Oh, right. You die anyway. Oh, the doctor won't do that to me. She has too much at stake. God, keep him alive till I'm ready for him. Come take a look. Tell me what you think. I don't have time. You've delayed me for too long. Come on, Liesl. You're an excellent doctor. I, I could use your expertise. For heaven's sake. <laughs> Stupid girls, this is nothing more than simple sentence. Now who's the stupid girl? Sweet dreams, Frau Doctor. Now it's time for my dream to come true. I'm going home to my husband and my little girl. I'm going home to my family. Authorized print to get out. I burst into the room. Albrecht was in there, but she wasn't alone. All right, who was she with? She was with our daughter, Anna. She was with Robin. You don't know what you're saying. No, no. You, you're disoriented, honey. No, you're disoriented. No, no. no I know. I've, I've never been more together in my life. I've seen our daughter, and she's alive. I'm not one to judge people's career choices, but what the hell is somebody like you doing with a psycho like Jerry Jacks? I might ask you the same thing. Well, I'll be damned. You need no, to no, rest. No, 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 Anna. I, I remember everything. You stayed in the room with Duke. I went after Aubrey. I, I, I heard screams. I burst into the room. Robin? And I saw Robin shackled to a bed with Aubrey standing over her, holding a syringe. She was about to kill her. Stop this. Stop it. You're confused. No, no, I'm not. I remember everything. I saw it all with my own eyes. Aubrey has our daughter. A little bit further, okay? Patrick's waiting for us. Going somewhere, my dear? How are you doing here? Were you expecting somebody else? Perhaps, uh, let's see, Holly, uh, Sky, Anna. You know, the ones you take on your adventures with you. The ones that you allow to help you. This ain't no pleasure cruise, darling. Don't I know it. Do you expect me to stay home with my knitting while you go off to die? You knit? Don't, cha don't change the subject. You deliberately left me behind. I was trying to keep you safe. Well, here. too bad. Too bad. I'm here. I snuck in because you asked for my assistance. I did? You absolutely did. Olivia had one of her visions, and she saw you in a coffin. Were you talking to her about my present physical condition, or was this a spontaneous premonition? I did not say one word to her about your polonium poisoning. Did she see me dead? No. You were in a coffin, but you said something. What message did I convey across the astral plane? You said I need Spanx. Note, you did not say I need Blaze, English, or Slim. You said you needed me. When I'm right, I'm right. 
Please. So look, this no. is insane, no. Robert. It is not possible no. that Robin is alive. No, no. It, it, but it, it's it not is. possible. Yeah, it is. You think of the times that our demise has been greatly exaggerated We're for whatever reason. We're experienced agents. <gasps> We've been trained in life-threatening no. situations. Robin, she was a she, civilian. She, she was a doctor. She a, could not have saved us. We're herself. survivors. She's a survivor. She's carrying on the family tradition. She's out there. We gotta find stop, her. Stop, stop, stop. The longer you do this, the worse pain you're no. gonna be in when you have yeah, to accept that it not. isn't true. It, 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 it is true. I've seen her with my own stop, eyes. Stop. Duke and I, we came into the room. Robin was not yeah. in there, shackled or otherwise. It was just Oh, Brett took her. Step away. She was about to inject Robin with a syringe. She was about to kill her. You're right. I tried to get her out of there. The doctor got the jump on me. Sorry, Robin. Who was in the syringe? What's in it? The next few moments were a blur. The next thing I knew, I was lying there helpless while she simply took our daughter away. Dad! I couldn't save her. That bitch took her away and we've got to find her. You're not thinking of leaving us so soon, are you? Stay away from me. I'm impressed. You know, how did you manage to get out of your private lab? I took out your friend, Dr. Obrick, and I'm not afraid to do the same to you. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? And, and what will you do to me exactly? You look a little encumbered for hand-to-hand -hand combat. We wouldn't want to hurt the child, would we? I'm not letting you get anywhere near this child. And we agree. He's far more comfortable with you. As for that uh, little private trip outside the lab, uh, we had a deal. What more do you want from me? I've already developed the treatment for you. A temporary one. The deal was for a permanent fix, you see. Well, I'm practically done. All my research is already inside. Practically done is of no use to me. I spent too long as an invalid. I need the cure. That's the arrangement. Screw the arrangement. Let me go right now. Horrell. You'll do what, Dr. Scorpio? I will send your lab into a deep freeze and you will lose all of my research and you will never find a cure. Calm yourself, Robert, please. I have been down this road before. And what you think of is hope is not, is denial. We create the most elaborate scenarios and we pin it to the flimsiest evidence. Do you understand me? I know I've done it more than once. I don't want you to make this mistake, okay? I know what I saw and I saw it with my own eyes. I spoke with oh, her, Anna. Stop it! Robin is dead! Oh, God, I wish to God every day it wasn't true but it is. You saw her body. What did I see? I saw a burnout corpse on a table. That could have been anybody. Oh, who was it? They took the wedding ring off her body. She was in the lab when it exploded. Patrick was right there. I'm sorry, it is not possible it's that she survived. It's entirely possible when you consider who's behind all of this, who's involved with it, who brought Duke here to begin with. It's entirely possible. Stay back or I'll do it. If my samples are destroyed, you'll have paid Faison all that money for nothing and you'll never find a cure. And what do you think pressing that button will accomplish? Oh, I've kept my eyes and ears open. I know that the cast iron uses for cryogenics, and if I press this button, hell's gonna freeze over in there. Aren't you forgetting something? What about Dr. Obrecht? <laughs> oh, you forgot the good doctor was still inside, didn't you? Unconscious, unable to save herself. You're no killer. Don't be so sure. No, it takes one to know one. You see, there are certain signs, an ability to disconnect, a lack of empathy, or being totally irrational, which is clearly not the case with you, Dr. Scorpio. You're in full possession of your faculties. You have been holding me for over a year. You have no idea how desperate I am. Not desperate enough to take someone's life, even if she did hold you hostage. You're bluffing. No, I'm not. Well, then go ahead, my dear. I dare you. Go on. I tell you, I'm impressed. You busting into the Catholic compound disguised as a guard, that's no small feat. If I really am the Bonnie to your Clyde, you have to realize I can handle myself. Do not underestimate me. How'd you find me in this hellhole, anyway? <laughs> it's a long story. I will tell you when we get out of here. The SS Lila is anchored offshore. Let's just go. No, wait, 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 wait. We can't leave. Why not? Because Jerry Jacks has got a doctor working on a cure, and he's going to test it on me. 
He's going to cure you too? Not likely. He's just going to give me enough to make sure that it doesn't kill me. He's afraid the doctor is trying to kill him. So if I survive it, then he's going to take the cure himself. So you're a guinea pig for a psychopath. Hey, look, I'm not thrilled about the concept either, but if I leave here empty-handed, I am a dead man. You complicate things, don't you? Hey, listen, I can't leave without the cure. Okay, so then there is only one course of action. We get our hands on the cure before Jerry Jacks does. How do you suggest we do that? I misspoke. We're not doing anything. I am. Wait, Tracy. Oh, look. You can't go off and do something reckless without me. Look, you can't even walk. And I'm the one in the lovely disguise, you remember? Know, this lovely disguise is not going to last a second glance, baby. Come on, you're no spy. You're great in the boardroom. But this place takes cutthroat to a whole new level. I was standing right next to Jerry Jackson. He had absolutely no idea. Nobody knows I'm here. I can investigate. Spank Oh, don't spank me. Not now. I am going to get the cure, and then we are going to leave this godforsaken island. Tracy. Be safe. You too. Nothing happened. An impressive attempt, I'll give you that, Doctor. Luckily for your colleague, Dr. Obrecht, the cryogenics technology was moved to make room for your private lab. No. Oh, come on. Don't be so disappointed. You proved to be more ruthless than I expected. Your parents would be so proud. You think Faison faked Robin's death? Quite capable of it. I mean, he's done it before with other people. She was here when Duke was here? It all adds up. Robin and Duke are here. Faison, he's out there pretending to be your boyfriend, and no one's any the wiser. Oh, God. What? Faison thought someone was onto him. What do you mean? Duke told me that. Faison was furious because someone had figured out who he was. And when Duke asked, Faison said no. He wasn't referring to me. At the time, the only person I thought it could be was Robin. Because she's the only one who knew Duke well enough that she would be able to realize that Faison was an imposter. Is it remotely possible that you are giving me the benefit of the doubt? No, 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 no. Come on. Dr. Scorpio got the better of you, fair and square. She tried to escape with my grandson. And then aren't you fortunate that I arrived in time to detain them both? Despite her valiant efforts, Robin isn't going home just yet. Until she provides me the cure, everyone in Port Charles will continue to believe she's dead. Stop this, Robert. I'm not gonna let you take us down this rabbit hole again. I'm not. I see the look in your eye. You feel it in your gut. You know she's alive. You've never given up on Robin. Oh, stop it. It's been so hard for me to wrap my head around the fact that she's gone. I can't process it. I can't accept the fact that she's gone. That doesn't mean she's alive, though. She is alive. Oh, stop it. I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not going to let grief cloud my judgment. Because that's how Faison got to me in the first place. Okay. I was so blinded by missing Robin that I couldn't see what was right in front of me. I'm not looking for a leap of faith. I know the truth. And I'll prove it to you. You go out and find me your brick. And you're going to find our daughter. No, no, no. The excitement's over. Off you go. Back to work. Or well, you can kill her right now. Huh? And deprive your grandson of a babysitter? We've never been closer to our goal. Inside. Now. Go. The treatment will be ready any time now. 
and it will all be over. is easier said than done. She's wanted for several crimes in Port Charles. She tried to kill Duke. Is he all right? Well, yeah, he is. He recovered. But she gave him propofol, enough to kill him. The same as you. And her latest crime is she's kidnapped a child. Yes, she's kidnapped our child. I still say a wiser course of action would be to finish off the doctor. I could complete her research. And why should I trust you? It was your incompetence that almost let her get away. I underestimated her cunning. I will not do that again. Let me deal with her. Did you have somewhere to be? Of course. There's someone who needs to know about the birth of my grandson. Well, I was in the middle of tracking Obrecht. You know, uh, when I, we got the call that you were awake. I mean, I hadn't made much progress. She already hopped a plane and she'd vanished. So let's get back on the trail. She's got Robin, huh? No! I need proof before I go down this road. So where are you going to go for answers if the trail's cold, huh? To someone who can lead us right to Obrecht. Her boss. I must see Faison. Did you find it? Did you get the cure? I know. I couldn't see the doctor because Jerry Jacks and that German woman were there the whole time. If he's hanging out down there, the drug must be almost ready. That's what I heard him say. Well, if he's between us and the doctor, how are we going to get our hands on the medicine? We're not. We're going to let it come to us. What do you mean? You said that Jerry Jacks is going to come here and give you the cure when it's ready. So, when he comes... We'll be waiting to strike. <laughs> you are full of surprises. <laughs> Thank you, yes. I'll, I'll be there first thing in the morning. Yeah? Thank you. I'm in to see Faison. They're holding him at Stein now. Yeah. He has no chance of escape. He hasn't seen anyone in months, so maybe he'll be ready to talk. Good. Let's get to it. What are you doing? Oh, you just got out of being in a coma. And oh, Twelve months on board. Stop. No. I'm not letting you go to see Faison on your own. He has a hold over you. That was a long time ago. I have nothing but contempt for Faison. He makes my skin crawl. I will be fine. You stay here with Mac. Mac doesn't know about Robin. We don't know about Robin. Don't tell Mac or Patrick or Emma. No one. You understand? Mac can be trusted. It's not about trust. I know what it feels like to get your hopes up, only to have them crushed. We're going to keep this to ourselves. Until we know for sure Robin is alive. and I hope you get this message before your meeting with Faison. Be careful and go armed. Do not ask this guy any leading questions about Robin because he's going to clam up on you. Okay? You're going to have to do a bit of fancy footwork around this cagey bastard. Bye.
you want your cure, you're gonna have to wait. Ooh, sounds like someone is a little cranky today. Fortunately, I have just the thing. What, a one-way ticket to my family? No, a jet fueled up and waiting. All you have to do is meet the terms of our agreement. Cure you of your polonium poisoning, I know. In the meantime, I brought you a sustenance and, of course, your medication. Oh, you're not expecting a tip. Oh, Robin. Consider yourself lucky you're getting anything at all after that stunt you pulled yesterday. It was foolish, albeit brave, to clock Obrecht and make a run for it. Well, it's not my fault that she's susceptible to flattery. Well, what can you say? She's a mad scientist. All they do is crave validation. So where did the doctor and her bruised ego go? Oh, that is none of your concern. Well, I'm not concerned. I'm just curious. The only thing I could get out of her was that she was going to see someone that she loves as much as I love Patrick. Commissioner Anna Devane, I'm here to see César Faison. It's a matter of life and death. It make any sense. Why would Obrecht leave her grandson here? Well, she clearly has faith in your abilities as a nurturer. But where could she possibly go that she couldn't bring him with her? Why would you question the motives of a sociopathically disturbed woman? You won't find answers that make sense to you. At least I have this little guy to keep me company. Right, now, don't get sidetracked. Eat, take your meds, and finish formulating the cure, and you can go back to the family you hold so dear, all right? Ta-da! What's this? It's your birthday, isn't it? Day in and day out with no change. You, you, you must have thought he was never going to come back. It's been a pretty difficult time, especially for Anna. Oh. I, mean, I haven't actually spoken to her. I've got a couple of messages from her, but... I'd imagine she's spending a lot of time with Robert. Where'd you go just now? Nowhere. Okay, I don't know what's going on, but it's obvious there's something that you're not entirely happy about. Oh, don't misunderstand me. I'm very relieved that Robert's doing better. It's okay, just... so why the long face? I just hope he doesn't decide that he wants Anna back. I didn't see you standing there. I was being quiet in case you were sleeping. <sighs> After 12 months, I think I've had enough. Yeah, I bet. So who were you talking to? Oh, I was leaving a message for Anna. Um, she likes me to check in, but most times she's too busy to take my call. Yeah, what's going on with her? She left a message with me last night saying she had to leave. Didn't say where, when she was coming back. I mean, just to look after you and check out the transport museum if we had time. <laughs> hey, that's Anna. <laughs> maybe, maybe, but Robert, we didn't come all this way. To see local attractions. We came to see you. Of which there are plenty, but as soon as I clear Robert, this we're place... here one day, and Anna's already taken off. What happened? Where did Anna have to go all of a sudden? One of your former handlers at WSB, Orange, for your clearance. Thank you. The prisoner is a dangerous criminal. I'd feel safer if I was armed. Yes, the clearance for your sidearm has been granted. Right this way. So what was so important that Anna had to leave right after you re-entered the land of the living? We don't know about Robin. Don't tell Mac or Patrick or Emma. No one. You understand? What else? Chasing the bad guys. She's got a lead on Obrick? We're hoping. I guess Anna hasn't told you about that psycho's latest stunt. What's Dr. Death done this time? She clocked her daughter and kidnapped her newborn grandson. Any leads? No, Obrick's trail went cold the minute she boarded a private plane. Anna thinks she's holed up in Europe somewhere, but, you know, on the other hand, she might have refueled while she was here, and she'd be on the other side of the planet by now. Dragging a baby. <laughs> Poor kid. God only knows what she wants her for. I just hope she has a heart under that ruthless exterior. But I doubt it. You know, more likely she's going to use that child as some kind of lab rat. Well, here's hoping there's an angel out there looking out for the little guy. You say that it's my birthday, but I honestly have no idea what you're saying is true. It could be Christmas... Or Tuesday. I don't know. 
You're ready. On this day in history, you were born not far from here, across the Ionian Sea, in Italy. You were called Robin Sotini, an unlikely but necessary name, so that no one would know that you were the daughter of a hunted WSB double agent. You lived with a woman who you thought was your grandmother. You grew up thinking that your own mother was merely a family friend. Your father didn't even know you existed until much later. And if I ever need a biographer, you'll be my first phone call. But I don't believe for a second that you give a damn about me. So why are we celebrating my birthday? What's in it for you? Anna. Anna, my Anna. You okay? I've dreamed of this day. Never believed it would happen. But you threw me here. Yes, I'm here. But not to reminisce. I'm ready to discuss whatever you like, as long as you like. This has to be quick. We don't have much time. I need to ask you something of great importance. Stick around for my daughter's funeral. I mean, I just couldn't stick around to say goodbye to my little girl. Luke read your letter. I think we all understood. You know, I don't. I don't think any of us expected you to show up after seeing the child remains. Sorry, I shouldn't have brought it up. Hey, okay, bro, we don't bro. have to do this. Listen, if I can't talk to you about this, who can I talk to? What that file? An explosion left behind was unrecognizable. I couldn't believe that it was Robin. But I couldn't deny it either. No father should ever have to see that, Robert. I could have been stronger. Stronger for Emma, for Patrick, for you, for Anna. Well, especially for Anna. It bothers me that that was the last chance I had to say goodbye to my little girl. Maybe it wasn't. Well, I'm sure Robin's never far from your mind. Especially on a beautiful day like today. It's her birthday. Oh, I'm surprised Do you know that. How could I not? The daughter of the woman I love. Above all. How oh, you must miss her. She must feel so far away, as you have felt to me. Do not see her or touch her. To come to terms with the fact that I'm never going to be with her again. Please listen to what I have to say. What is it? Robin is alive. I'm gonna finish Jerry's cure. And I'm getting out of this God-forsaken hellhole. I'm going home, and I'm doing it today. We recorded her funeral. You did? Amphar requested it for a tribute they were doing for Robin. Look, I wasn't sure it was the right thing to do at the time. But Robert, the outpouring of love was unbelievable. I don't know if this is something you want to do. Play it. You sure? It's my daughter's funeral. I want to see some of that love that I missed. Play it. I was no one's idea of father material when I took on the responsibility of raising Robin. I promised to take care of her. But it was clear from the beginning that she was also taking care of me. But I had a lot to learn about my niece, about Robin's capacity for hope and love. And when Robin was diagnosed with HIV, I was awed by her courage.
Robin faced her diagnosis like she faced everything that life threw at her, with strength and dignity. I'm going to tell you something that I always used to say to Robin. We're family. We're Scorpios. And there's nothing we can't get through together. Are you, are you sure you're okay with this? Yeah. We all know how stubborn she could be. But she was stubborn for a reason. She fought hard for what she believed in, and she fought hard for the people she loved. A few months ago, when she thought she might not be here for Emma, she asked if I would step in for her. Well, I knew then what I know now, and that's Robin's irreplaceable. You are so right about that. Well, I don't think it can be argued that Robin was a truly magnificent human being. You know, seriously, I used to look at her and think, oh my gosh, how did I possibly give birth to her? She was very kind, very forgiving, especially to me. And she became so accomplished and just capable, you know, and so self-sufficient, always. She had so much love and support from so many people. It takes a village, doesn't it? You're quite an eclectic village, aren't you? Thank you for everything you gave to my daughter and for everything that you shared that she gave back to you. Especially you, Mac. You know, you were her hero. You know that, don't you? Because you were there for her all the time that I wasn't. You know, I thought my life was complete. And then this beautiful but bossy little thing came into my life and she changed it all. When I met her, a world opened up to me that, that I didn't know, a world that people mattered, family mattered, and love and the future mattered. She taught me compassion and perseverance, and she, she taught me that it it wasn't enough just to be great. She had to care. I feel so lucky because she cared about me. <laughs> she loved me so much. <laughs> and she loved being a mom. And she loved her little daughter. She made me feel that if you had love, anything was possible. You all right? I'm sorry. Uh... I wanted to do this for you. I didn't realize how hard it would be. Uh, I miss her so much. There's something I gotta tell you. Robin is alive? That's impossible! No, it's not. <gasps> I kept her alive. For you, Anna. How did you do that? How did you keep her alive and hidden from me for all this time when you've been in prison? How did you do that? I have my collaborators outside, of course. Who? I want names. Who? Jerry Jacks. The late Dr. Ewan Keenan. And the lion's share of help came from one of my most trusted associates. Dr. Lisa Obrecht. Oh, yes, I'm familiar with Dr. Obrecht. She's devoted to you. Loyal to a fault. It seems that she would rather die than to break your confidence. Yeah, that's one of her admirable qualities, yes. Do you know she tried to kill someone in order to gain your affection? Well, she's in love with me! It's not that I want to make you jealous. She always has been. You must have some attachment to her, given everything she's done for you. I have never returned her feelings. And I never will. Never? Anna. You're the only woman in my life. I love you. Jerry, Jerry, I 
Mary, get in here. Get in, come, get in here. Be quiet, the baby's gonna start screaming and we wouldn't want that. So, what's your problem? I don't have a problem and neither will you very soon. Are you saying? I'm saying you're not going to die of polonium poisoning. I've done it. I can cure you. What is it? What do you need to tell me? Mac, um... What, Robert? Tell me. I mean, it's like you just said. We can trust Mac. Well, it's not about trust. I know what it feels like to get your hopes up, only to have them crushed. Rob, you know, I've been thinking that in instead of... Instead of Robin's funeral, we should be thinking about her as as she was with us, you know, full of love and full of hope and a belief that any, anything was possible. You're right. That's who she was. And it's what she would have wanted from us. And you know, if anything's possible, maybe, maybe she can hear us right now, wherever she is. Maybe she, she can hear what we say. Happy birthday, Robin. Oh, happy birthday, sweetheart. We love you. Well, I should be forever grateful for you seeing his arm under that mask. I owe you my life. I'd say that's the espresso talk. No, it's not. If it hadn't been for you and Robert unmasking Fizzon, I'd still be in Switzerland, strapped to a bed, and I wouldn't have got Anna back all the rest of my life. Olivia, is something wrong? I saw something. Are you having one of your visions? It better be. What did you see? I saw Faison. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. I would know that nasty mug anywhere. Where did you see him? He's right there. I saw him right where that man is. I saw Faison, and he was... And he was what? What was he doing? He was kissing Anna. But me. Yes, I did. You returned my feelings. I could feel it. Is it possible? You love me? Yes, I love you, Cesar. Excuse me. I'm here to see Cesar Faison. about Robin, you would fall in love with me. Finally. And you have. Haven't you? Huh? Yes, I love you. Thank you. I love you. Do smooth figures. Shine. Anna, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? Anna! It's been expunged. That's not possible, though. Yeah, actually it is. Obrecht has covered her tracks, which is no mean feat. She's not working alone. She has help. Powerful help. Hey, uh, I just got off the phone with the PCPD. What did Anna say? I didn't, I didn't speak to her. Apparently, she's out of the country. Sorry to disappoint you, but your precious Ella is far away from here. I'm Anna Devane. I have clearance from the WSB. Yeah, 
is right here. The proof that she says a fazan. That that is strange. What is? Uh, according to the visitor's log, you already visit him. Get away from me! Jerry, get in here now! Jerry! Whoa, 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 be quiet. You're gonna wake the baby up. We wouldn't want that, would we? So, what's the problem? There is no problem. And you won't have a problem either, soon. Are you saying... You are not going to die of polonium poisoning. I've done it. I can cure you. With this. No one's going anywhere, Jess. I'm not your dear, and that wasn't the arrangement. I find your cure, and you let me go home. How do I know this isn't one of your tricks, and you're going to inject me, and I'm going to kill over dead? Because I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that with everything at stake. I mean, you said yourself, I I'm not a murderer. Oh, I did, didn't I? Mm. But that was before you flipped the switch and tried to kill Dr. Obrecht by turning her into a Teutonic ice sculpture. I am telling you the truth, and I, I don't know how to prove that to you. Hmm, but I do. Luke! <gasps> it's okay. It's Tracy. <sighs> Tracy. Precious popsicle. Spanky buns, take your pick, it's just me. Spanky. All I know was here. I was dying. She was surrounded in flames. Sounds about right. She was pushing me into the abyss. Look at me. I was not here. You were dreaming. So real. Well. Elena's not gonna get you. And you're not dying not on my watch. If she wants you, she's gonna have to fight me to get you. Anna's out of the country. It, it shows her she's following a lead on my mother. Not, not exact. Robert Scorpio uh, came out of his coma. She went to Switzerland to check on him. So what does that mean? That no one's no, working on the case? No, no one's no, no. looking for no, my son? Right. That's not what that no, means. I told you Anna hates me. She was never no, even going to look doesn't. for Ben. She's like, not abandoning your son. She's in a different continent. Yes, I know that, but she's put her best people on the case. They're not giving up, I promise you. <sighs> I'm sorry. No, no, you don't have to be sorry. No, I'm acting like a crazy person. No, you're acting like a mother who's worried sick about her child. Blaming Anna? Making her the villain? I mean, we all know who's responsible for this nightmare. My own mother. How dare you? What's the meaning of this masquerade? Does it really require explanation? Yes, it does! Disguising yourself as an empty vein! Kissing me! Disgusting! You don't even come close to her! Your surprise is laughable. Considering all I did was take a page from your book. You committed the same offense against that bony shrew with your overwrought masquerade as Duke Lavery. Very good reasons to disguise myself. To win Anna, your reason for everything. Uh, do you know what? And by the way, the thoughts I shared were private. They were not meant for your ears. Believe they were meant for hers. If I could unlisten, I would. Shut up. Pretending to be Duke was the only way I could get her attention. The only way I, way I, I could get close to her. I'm sorry, I'm already with him? But that doesn't make sense. I just came on duty, but uh, according to the visitor's log, you signed in 30 minutes ago. Well, obviously, it's wrong. I'm standing right here. Yeah, Steinmauer is a supermax facility. They're not in the habit of making mistakes. <laughs> I'm Anna Devane. Uh, the easiest way to prove it is to go in there and find out whoever is with Faison, because whoever it is, it's not me. Oh! I do not care what kind of clearance you have. You cannot just barge in there! This is a matter of life and death. Do you understand? I need to see Faison, and you are preventing me from doing that because of some clerical error. Look, I do not Who know... Who is you... your supervisor? Perhaps she can straighten this whole thing out. Yeah, it is a he or just bait. <sighs> This has to be as a mistake. You think? Yeah. 
I will go and see what has happened. But do not go in there. Okay, you have ten minutes. After that, all bets are off. Hi, Duke. Anna, it's so good to hear your voice. How is Robert? Uh, uh, well, he's good, all things considered. Oh, that's wonderful. Yes, it really is. Listen, uh, there's something that I, uh, I need to run by you. All right. It's going to sound crazy, but... I'm at the Metrocourt Hotel with Olivia Falconari, and, uh, she's had another one of her visions. Oh, what did she see this time? Faisal. What was he doing? Well, brace yourself for this, but, uh, he was kissing you. Why do you do this to me, Cesar? The mutter of your child. Oh, go away. You deserve to suffer. Do you realize, Anne, after what you put me through? When I heard Anna was going to come and see me, you, you raised my hopes, and then you come in, and then you dashed them in the most cruel way possible. If this is payback, fine, fine. You made your point. You got your little revenge. Now get out. Get out. Get out! Not so fast. Yearning for the touch of your lips was not the only reason for my getting in here. I had something to tell you. Why? Why? I wanted to tell you about your grandchild. <laughs> yeah, that's right, little one. I'm not going anywhere. Because I know how to make sure Robin's poison won't kill me. And you know how? By trying it on someone else first. I'll do it. I'll take it. And then I'm going home. You can't test the cure on yourself. Why not? But do I have to tell you? You're the scientist. You don't currently have polonium poisoning. So? Now, for all I know, the cocktail I gave you for HIV, you know, could protect you from any ill effects. That's ridiculous. Oh, better safe than sorry. <laughs> okay, fine. So then, what's the plan? You find a random middle-aged guy, shoot him up with polonium-210? Oh, you do think the worst of me, don't you? I'm not answering that. As luck would have it, actually, <laughs> the random guy actually found me. <laughs> Are you serious? You actually know someone else that has polonium poisoning. Oh, I do. And he's safely tucked away upstairs. I'd pay good money to see you fight the dragon lady at the gates of hell. Who are you kidding? You don't have any money. <laughs> no, but if I did, I'd put it on you. Well, forget about Helena. I'm more concerned with our friend Jerry Jacks. And unless he was lying, and I don't think he was, he's going to be back here any minute with the antidote to test it on you. Uh, just call me Lab Rat. What I'm going to call you is cured, Luke. He does not know that I'm here. I can get the jump on him and fix you right up. There's one problem. What? I don't think I'm going to make it that long. What are you talking about? A grandchild? Our daughter gave birth not long ago. Surely you remember Britta? Vaguely. I know she was a disappointment to you, Cesar. You wanted a son. But without Britta, he wouldn't now have a grandson. A grandson. A perfect little boy to carry on your legacy. Even your sainted Anna couldn't give you that. I hope you told Olivia that her vision is insane. Oh, yes, of course. I mean, those are the, the first words out of my mouth. There's going to be no kissing phase on. The whole, that's just, that's repulsive. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's also impossible because, I mean, you're nowhere near the man, are you? This part, Anna. You are in Switzerland with Robert, aren't you? 
Yeah, I'm in Switzerland, but... Um, Here it comes. There's been a complication. A grandson. Our disappointing Britta has brought for us a beautiful, robust boy. And we call him? She's given him some pedestrian American name, but not to worry. When you meet him, we'll be christen him Little Cesar, of course. When I meet him? I mean, are you going to bring a child in here? No. No. I'm going to bring you to the child. My mother doesn't even care if I ever see my son again. You don't know that. <laughs> in fact, you have no idea what her motives are. And you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to figure them out. Just try and relax, and let's focus on finding Ben, okay? You're right. Okay. What were you looking at when I came in? I was looking at some missing persons' websites, hoping that someone's seeing a crazy German woman with my baby. Oh, my God. This email, I didn't, I, I didn't see this before. Who's it from? My mother. So this man is dying, just like you. That is correct. What's going to happen to him? Well, I think you know the answer to that question, don't you, my darling? But if you're going to use this and test it on him? Just to see if it kills him, but not enough to make him better. Right, and then after that, you're just gonna let him die yes and judging by his state so sooner rather than later getting cured may no longer be possible don't say that luke no tracy there are things i need to say i'm not listening i may not get another chance look luke if this is a ploy for sympathy save it i'm not a bleeding heart i know you're not you're a force of nature you're a beautiful woman with an amazing, tantalizing brain that I can't keep up with. I'm in awe of you. What? You did this on your own. You came here after I lied, tried to leave you behind. That's devotion. Yeah, it's also stupidity. Yeah, I know it is, in a way. But I want you to know that you're risking your life. Luke, save it. Save it. You do not yeah, need to thank say, me. I'm not thanking you. I'm telling you, I love you. Well, it's better than a slap in the face. I considered it. Did you hear what I said? I love you. Yes, I heard it loud and clear. I believe it was the sound of giving up. Don't want it. What if it isn't giving up? What if this is the end? Then be you. Be real. Don't throw me some parting gift to ease the pain of saying goodbye. Okay, you want real. Let's get real. Don't look over there. I'm here. Look at me. Tracy Quartermain. You beautiful, infuriating, brilliant woman. I love you. Thanks for that. It's so easy for you to say that. On your deathbed. You don't have to suffer the consequences. What consequences? Me, us, living a life of domesticated hell. Would you please stop pretending? I want to give you the whole enchilada. You want a soulmate. I think I'm it. Please, just don't say it. Tracy, if I live through this, if we get back home, you deserve the whole meal, and I'm going to give it to you if that's what you still want. More than anything. I don't like knowing someone else is sick. Who is he? A dead man walking. I was long before I got my hands on him. But, you know, let's forget about our little lab rat. But after he tests for the elixir, that is. And once that happens... I get to go home. Well, provided he survives. Which he will. And provided once I take it, I start to improve. Fine. Then let me draw some blood. We'll know the cure is working when your polonium levels recede. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you mad? Don't, don't get close to me with that thing. What can I do with an empty syringe? Well, yeah, I suppose we have a point, especially when I have this thing. <sighs> oh, whoa. You're excited. 
I want to see my family. It would be a shame after getting so close to lose it all, wouldn't it? Here it is. Robert remembered something after he woke up. And I I need to verify it with Faison. With Faison? Anna, where in God's name are you? I'm at Steinmauer Prison in Geneva. But think about it. The security is so high here. I'm perfectly safe. But well, this is Faison we're talking about. I mean, what could be possibly so important that you run and face that psychopath? I prefer to keep that between Robert and me for now. Anna. I'm sorry. I promise you I'm not going to be kissing Faison ever again. That's just another way to torment me. Dangling a promise to take me see my grandson. I mean, if I could get out of this gulag, I mean, I wouldn't be able to show my face in Port Charles now, would I? I thought of that, which is why I relocated him. The boy is not in Port Charles. There's no message. It's, it's just an attachment. No, hold on. Are you sure it's okay to open it? I mean... No, but I mean, uh, do I have a choice? Okay. Looks like a video of some kind. There he is, there's Ben. Hello, Wendy Doctor. I know you've been fretting, but look. Your son is healthy, happy, growing by the day. No matter what you may think, Britta, I'm not a heartless woman. No harm will come to your baby boy. On the contrary, he has a great future ahead of him. Soon we will all be together. One big happy family at last. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tens of millions of dollars, and many months later, my deliverance. Or is it? We'll soon find out. He's charming sometimes, but he is not a nice man at all. I know he's a killer, but you think he's a liar? What do you think, little guy? Huh? Do you think that Jerry will keep his word? Do you think that he'll actually let me go home? Robin is taking care of my grandchild? Where? He is safely ensconced with Robin on Casadine Island. She will guard that child with her life. For how long? Until I reclaim him. I cannot wait to place little Cesar in your arms. This is madness. Why? What? You, do you honestly believe you can just march me out of here? No. But Anna Devane can. A perk of being a big shot at the WSB. Don't you see the genius of my plan, Caesar? In my guise as Anna, I can fool these imbeciles. Tell them that during my interrogation, I discovered you are harboring crucial information that directly impacts national security. I demand they transfer you at once. To where? WSB facility in The Hague. It's foolproof. <laughs> yeah, I doubt it. You made mistakes in the past. Colossal ones of that. Do you want to see your grandson or not? Did you straighten everything out? I just spoke to the guard on duty before me. And? He said that you were inside this fazan. That he escorted you in there himself. to see the child, my namesake. At least we know Ben is safe. But where? We have no idea where they are. That room told us nothing. Did your did your mother uh, have a, a favorite place? You know, somewhere she she may have talked about it. No, I I don't know. I. Okay, well, what about that thing she said about uh, 
Ben having a great future. Any idea what that might mean? Welcome to your baby boy. On the contrary, he has a great future ahead of him. Soon we will all be together. One big happy family at last. I think I know where she's taking him. What if Jerry never had any intention of letting me go? I mean, he could kill me as soon as he gets back. Why wouldn't he? I already know too much. No, not when I'm so close to getting home. Not when I'm so close to seeing Patrick and Emma. Okay, all right. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. I'm gonna hold you to that enchilada the minute we get home. He's back. Here we go. So, how are you feeling, Sunshine? Peachy. Are you ready to earn your keep? You got the stuff? Yes. My trusty scientist has found the cure for our... Oh, I'm sorry. My polonium poison. Or so she says. The moment of truth. A touch of that precious elixir for you just a touch and assuming you don't drop dead the rest will be for me Are you sure you don't want to share well, go home or go big as you people say i intend to go big not today you won't hand it over you look like you could use this Thank you. What time is it? Well, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> That's true. So did you talk to Anna? Yes, I did. She is with Faisal. In prison? Yeah. Unless she needs answers, only that maniac can provide. Like what kind of answers? I don't know. She wouldn't say. Come on. Oh, come on, I have to find a signal. I do. We are both out of here. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Please. <sighs> you know where Ben is? She's taking him to Faison. Faison? How, how did you get that from her message? I just did. I mean, I'm, I don't understand. I mean, I, I know that your mother was his, uh, you know, henchwoman or whatever you want to call it, but if that was the extent of a relationship, why would Faison want anything to do with your son? Because Faison, he's my father. You see me, right? I'm real, okay? This is uh, flesh and blood, and this my ID. I understand, but yes. there's a protocol. No protocol. This is impossible. I can't be in there and out here at the same time. How do I look? Never better. Gott in Himmel, stop drooling at the sight of her face while I call this whole thing off. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready to see my grandson, my name's sake. So sit tight. Then once I have your transfer authorized, we'll be out of here. I'm ready for my freedom. I'm gonna do what I said I would do half an hour ago, which is to go in there and prove to you whoever's in there is not me. Because I can assure you there's only one Anna Devane.
Jerusalem. 